Daniel 4.33a, Be zimna mendei yetuv alai v'li kar malkuti hadri v'zivi yetuv alai. And that brings us to this zakef katon, which we've selected for length reasons here at the beginning of Daniel 4.33. The first two words form an expression. We can see the bait prefix, the third person masculine singular suffix there. Here's a determined state. And it's referring to in the appointed time, which is drawing our attention back to verse 31, where it's talking about a certain time that reason returned. And that's exactly what we see here. My reason, and you can see the yod, dalet, i, and verbal root in that noun. My reason, it returned to me. And that brings us to this revia. Now this is a pa'al, imperfect, third masculine singular, where quite obviously the subject is my reason. Here's the verb. Reason returned to me. Why do we have the past tense? It's because in this narration, Nebuchadnezzar has placed imperfects after perfects and used them to continue the tense aspect and modality of the perfect. So continuing on, here we have a conjunction. And this word is glory, and it appears in a construct, and the glory of my kingdom. There's the first person common singular ending. Second line, my majesty and my splendor, and here we have, once again, the pa'al imperfect third masculine singular returned upon me. So all together, in the appointed time, my knowledge, my reason returned to me, and the glory of my kingdom, my majesty and my splendor returned to me. Now I'd like to use a second video to go a little more in depth as far as the construction of this first part of Daniel 4.33 syntactically.